there. I know that there's some spots uh, of discoloration on the side. And, and I've been through some things, Lord. I wonder if uh, I'm still of use to you. But Lord, I thank you. Praise God. I thank you that the potter's wheel is still turning. We got to give God thanks that the potter's house is still available. Because we can go there for the restoration we need. And in time you've been through some things. And you feel that all hope is gone. I want to let a child of God know today that the potter's house is still there. I want to let a child of God know today that the mercy seat is still available. I want to let a child of God know today that at the cross you can still go and let your burdens be known. We're talking about the potter's house tonight. Praise God. And I need you to know that the potter does not cast away anything that is not uh, anything that's been broken or chipped. I need you to know that the potter does not throw it away. I need you to understand that what the potter does is he crushes it back together and he decides what else he can make afresh out of it. I need you to understand that you are still, still valuable. I need you to understand that you are still worth something to the Lord. I need you to understand that it's not about what mankind say. A lot of times they might look on you and say you're washed up. A lot of times they might look at you and say your anointing is gone. A lot of times they might look at you and say you cannot work in the vineyard of the Lord anymore. But I want to let you know that they looked at David the same way. I want to let you know that they looked at Joseph the same way. I want to let you know that there were many before you that they looked at and looked down upon. I need you to understand there were many before you that they said could not make it. I need you to know they looked down on Hannah. I need you to know they looked down on Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. I need you to understand that they looked down on so many that were on before us. Even the disciples they looked down on. But glory be to God. God was still there to carry them through. Glory be to God. God was still there to make a way. Glory be to God that when nation after nation after nation came up against Israel, Israel was still standing. Why? Because the potter's house is still open today. We're talking about the potter's house. I need you to understand that this is not a simple topic. Praise God, because the songwriter says, There is not one broken vessel that God can mend. Oh, when the whole world turns their back on you, He will be your friend. Oh, He'll pick up. One more time, there is not one broken vessel that God can mend. When the whole world turns their back on you, have you been there before? When the whole world turns their back on you, He will be your friend. He'll pick up. There's not one broken vessel that God cannot bear. I'm telling you, not one. Praise God. It doesn't say that maybe there's some one, two, or three where he can't handle. The someone is reminding us there's not one broken vessel he cannot mend. Meaning every vessel that comes within his reach. And he created us all. And so every vessel is able to be mended by the Lord. I don't know about you, but I get excited about that. When I think about the goodness of the Lord and how capable he is to cover us, to keep us despite adversity, despite the chips, the cracks, praise God, that might come up along the way, he's able to restore.